Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 90 of Terraria 1.3. That's another milestone. <laughs> Last episode we got the Mega Shark. That is a nice addition to my arsenal. We farmed over here a little hollow farm thingamajig, whatever you want to call it. Got ourselves a thousand more holy arrows, which is huge because now I can go ahead and farm the destroyer. But I need souls and I also need the steampunker to decide to spawn. I'm considering just doing it now. Why don't we do that? Let's add a few more rooms to get her to potentially spawn because we could run out of rooms. What I want to go do now, as much as I want to take care of the corruption, I'm waiting for the contaminator. I would like to go farm for some souls because we want to kill the destroyer as many times as we can and get hollowed bars, souls, money. There's a couple things. And to do that, obviously we're going to need souls to summon him. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that problem. Also, I'm going to relocate these planter boxes. There is zero purpose in having these anymore. <laughs> Not down here anyway. I wonder how much they'll sell for. I think they were like... Are they like 20 silver a pop? I'm pretty sure they were fairly expensive. Don't know. We'll find out here. Get rid of them, make a few more houses, and we ought to be golden. Sure, I'll use the crystal ball. We could also even... Here's a good idea. We could even go work on the crimson farm. Uh, the crimson biome thing. So, get a little bit of cash back from them. Not that much. Get rid of that statue, get rid of that statue. Pretty useless. Alright, back to the NPC houses. This is going to be three more additional homes. And I really should take some platforms and throw them on the edges. Yes, I saw that I did that. I'll fix that. Okay, a torch on the edge just so it's a little bit lit up. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> torch on the edge, we'll place a platform. Three crafting benches coming right up. Or four. That's what happens when you have super high frame rates in Terraria. <laughs> it does wonky things. I needed four doors exactly. Good thing I just happened to craft that many. Let's get rid of that torch. Open the door that way. There's some semblance of organization here. Not that it's going to matter. This, this place is eventually going to get blown up. Uh, we're going to have like cool NPC houses in the sky along with me. Just a matter of time. So I will take all of these wood walls. We'll go ahead and finish these. I need to put chairs in here. And this should encourage the steampunker to move her ass in here. And give me that Clem Taminator. That's going to cost me two gold. It's expensive. It ain't cheap. And I think the solution... I think the solution's 20 silver a pop. And that's also not cheap at all. That's very expensive. So we will be going through a lot of money here very, very shortly. So three chairs and with some light, we should have an NPC house. Let's do our house inquiry. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. Let's also bring back our map. I had to get rid of that when we were farming for the shark fins. Just because the sharks kept spawning up top and <laughs> I couldn't see them. And it was a little bit weird. Phoenix Blaster. It's been fun, bud. Hey, there she is. N nice timing. So, I was going to go to the Crimson. Or make a Crimson. But, let's take care of this right now. Boom. Oh, my cash stack. It hurts. Oh, my cash stack. It's so good to have this, but my cash stack. Why? <laughs> Oh, there goes the cash stack. I'll buy a couple more. There goes the cash stack. But if you are unfamiliar with the way the Clem Taminator works, I'm sure a lot of you are fully aware. But it is pretty. It is very pretty. And it's also cleaning the corruption. It's turning it back into a vanilla, like, regular biome. Now, if, if you miss anything, leave anything behind, it re-corrupts, like, right away. The best way to take care of it is to dig little elevators every, every so often. Like, if I shoot here once and I dash... It came out to about here and it purified it. So you go down the elevator, shoot to the side, shoot to the other side, purify quite a bit, move on to the next chunk. That's if you want to like purify everything. I mean, you could do that if you really wanted to. I don't really have an interest in purifying everything. Just I'll keep things tidy around my house. Maybe I'll completely block it off. But if you want to go for like a playthrough where you purify all the things, don't do what I did. Don't break all the the um, oh the demon altars. They spawn little things of corruption in your world and hollow. I, I'm not really worried about that. I wanted more ores. But if that is how you're going to play or what you're going for, just be mindful. The other funny thing is probably easier to do this. It shows you what's in the wall, so you can kind of see. Pretty cool. And you can see we also went through quite a bit of that solution already. It doth not last very long. I think it lasts longer than it used to. I believe they've made it so the solution lasts longer. I 
don't know if they've changed the price from what it used to be. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. Just trying to make sure. The more we get now, the longer it's going to take for it to basically come back. And I'm not here to stop it over here. I'm, I'm going to go stop it at the jungle. But I'm just going to go ahead and take care of it. A little bit. So you can see you can see if you fall like that, like a elevator, how quick and easy it is to purify it. So here's a, here's a good visual example. Like this side is, has been purified. This side's been purified. You can see how making these little elevators, if, if you want to purify things, makes it easy. If you, if you, if you, want, if you want to go for a pure world, don't do what I did. I mean, to start off with, that's, that's a bad move. But <laughs> if you're fixing your mistakes, that's a good way to handle it. Good way to handle it. So we are just about out of the stuff, which, again, it's fine. I'm going to go buy more. Just taking care of some immediate corruption. Shoot that. We're good. Okay, so the corruption is no longer imminent upon my home. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. I didn't want that to be a thing anymore. Steampunker, I would I would appreciate it if you would actually move up here so you're a little less likely to die. You know, if a monster just ran through here and destroyed everything I know and love. Bye-bye, gold. Oh, man. That ought to be good enough, right? <laughs> we're we're going to go make a dent in the biome. <laughs> to our left. It's going to be annoyingly dangerous due to the fact that it's a uh, jungle. I could bring hollowed seeds and start hollow over there. Hollow does not destroy your, your jungle. And I've never had qualms with hollow. I kind of like hollow a lot more than corruption. So I might do that. I, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be upset if my world became very hollowed. Just corruption kind of irks me for some reason. And let's go ahead and keep placing the acorns down. The more the freaking merrier. I told you to move upstairs. What are you doing down here? You're going to die. This is for your own good, madam. What is wrong with you? These aren't going to grow, but I'm <laughs> going to go ahead and plop them down. Now, I'll buy a few more bombs just so if I need to blow things up, we'll, we'll blow them up. But our pickaxe is super fast. And we're going to be upgrading this bad boy sooner or later. But I should be good to go. The good old stack of bombs. It's it's barely any money. It's like two or three gold. <laughs> I think we're equipped. I think we're equipped. Also, this is random, but I kind of want to die. That's what I want to. I want to die unless I can get the cool phase die. If you've seen phase die, I think I had it in my stream. I think, I think it was my stream character. Yeah, phase die is so cool. Oh, I need phase die in this world. There's my pimped out unicorn. It is freaking gold. Hold on, let's get out here and ride our golden unicorn. That is glorious. Also, yes, we we only have one jump. We don't have the balloon jumps anymore. Oh, it's sad. It's sad. Might have to equip that to to. No, I need I need this. No, actually, I need. Did I just delete them? Oh, we unequipped them. That would have been scary. Uh, what I wanted to do was equip it there, and didn't I take another accessory off? I did. I took that. So let's do it this way. I got the wings. I got that. I just have to right-click it to pull my obsidian shield on. Okay. Now I have all my jumps back. I was holding shift for some reason. <laughs> Whoops. Could you imagine? I'd be sad. So we're going to dash right over here. I was holding shift because of the torch. Now I know. Dash over here. We're already here. Such is the magic of the unicorn. You go fast. Gotta go fast. And uh, we gotta get to the corruption, though. And this is gonna be fun, because I'm gonna try, I think, to eliminate as much of it as I can. Them spiders, though. They're just destroying everything. They're, they are vicious. You don't mess with these spiders. Should be getting to the edge right about now. There we are. Let's go ahead and put our shield back on. So, let's see. Can I see any of this? Can I see where it's taking over? Not really, this is dirt, and it doesn't look like it actually reached right there. You might see more of it the lower we go. Okay, kill that armor Pamia. The nice thing is the Mega Shark is so good just for clearing things like this. Die Trader is back. If there was any corruption there, which there does not appear to be, we just cleared it. That Die Trader, though. Okay, what you want to do? I mean, you can work top down, because you don't want to shoot, like, you don't want to... Aim up and click, because you're going to waste a lot of your a lot of your juice, whatever you want to call it, your solution. Shoot downward, because all the corruption is obviously down here. I mean, you could just run across the surface and do this. <laughs> this it's going to look really weird once we go down there, because there's going to be little, little spots that are and are not corrupt. Of course, I'll have to take care of them. 
<laughs> we were slowly changing the biome. Like, if I walk backwards, it starts getting brighter. <laughs> it, it changes biomes real quick. This is why I wanted to get this versus using, like, holy water or something stupid. That would just... That'd take so much time. Just save up. Get the Clemtaminator. You, you, you ought to be golden. Our pyramid has saved us. At least for now. From a lot of corruption spread. That's nice. That's very nice. And it doesn't look like it actually started spreading too far over to the left. We may have locked out. There may be a lot less corruption than I initially anticipated. Also, look at the map. <laughs> I love what it does. It's so easy to see everything. It's a little strange. Alright, so I will go ahead and shoot across here. It's going to purify the chasms. This is going to start looking a whole lot stranger. You're seeing these purple death chasm things over here. And now it's going to be all normal. Purple death chasm. That's, that's a weird thing, isn't it? Isn't that a weird thing to say? It looks like you're good over there. I mean, you can look at the map. I don't see any purple. That's a good thing to do. I mean, you can look at the map and see, look for purple. I don't see, like, vibrant purple through the walls, so I think we're okay. I love how you can, like, the music just keeps changing. <laughs> I love what it does to the mini-map, though. That's so funny. We are going to get rid of all of this. Let's shoot this way first. Let's use our wings. Go up. See, see, like, these are mini elevators, basically. It's kind of a proof of concept. Wetbeard the pirate. Wetbeard. Wetbeards are annoying, I'll be honest. And we are down to 100 solution. I like how it gets the block above me. That is interesting. Let's shoot upwards. <laughs> you could just spin your mouse. Hey, if you've got bank. <laughs> if you've got bank, you can do that. No questions asked. I don't think anybody's going to ask you any questions anyway, but <laughs> do what you want. It's your world. And I want to get rid of that. I don't think that spreads corruption, but I'm going to take care of it. This, this looks so weird on the mini-map. I mean, it's so, I'm so used to it being all like this weird purple, obviously. Take care of that. And, and the music that's playing down here is not normal. No. This is not the normal music. See? Oh, you can see that, right? Through the walls, how that became dirt. Let me go down here. That actually really shows up well. Do you see how there's dirt and mud mixed? That's the corruption affecting the jungle. This is what I just wanted to, to kind of nip in the bud. Because I didn't want to ruin my jungle. Uh, there was no point in doing that. So if I could stop it now, why not? Also another fun use of the mini shark there is you can basically float enemies. <laughs> really fun. There was some corruption right there. Got it. We're going to get as much of it as we can in the initial pass. And of course, if we come back here and we notice anything spreading, then we definitely know we screwed up and missed something. Be a little bit liberal with the use there, just to make sure I get it all. Okay, now we didn't shoot to the right. I realize it's a little bit dark for you, so let me try to keep putting torches down. We didn't really have this place lit up very well either. Lola. Lola Stylist. I can change my hair, can't I? I don't see any even doing that. You never see your hair anyway. <laughs> it's always under armor. And let me dig over yonder. I think there is this other chasm. Yeah, there's this other chasm. So let's go over there. I mean, if I break this, this is going to put corruption somewhere in the world. Probably not, like, right here. But it'll still put corruption somewhere. I think I'm going to hold off on breaking that demon altar because I'm, I'm moving away from hard mode ores. The, the three ones. Because we're going into hollowed armor. This is obviously all still corrupted. And what I think I'm going to do, save time, is just shoot like this. <laughs> I can't really see right now. This chasm is a lot deeper than I thought it was. <laughs> this is the one we saw on the mini-map, isn't it? Oh my Jesus. Well, we're clearing stuff now. What is hitting me? Oh, get out of the jellyfish. No jellyfish. Okay, well, we're going to go back up and we're going to light things. That was, that was, look, look, look at that. I love the way it looks at the mini-map. It's so weird. And also, again, look at this. Mud, dirt. You see how it started pushing? You can, you can actually really see the divide here. It started pushing it. It started taking it over. I, that's why I'm nipping it in the bud right now. Sooner the better. We'll be back down here, but I'm going to fly upwards, and we'll go ahead and slap down some torches, so next time when I fall down, you guys can all see my failures, and also so I can try to avoid hitting things and going splat. Not that I take 
fall damage, but it would be a little more efficient if I could see what the hell I'm doing. We're almost at the top. This is the beauty of wings. Gotta love wings. Oh, gotta take care of that. That's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna shoot left. Or yeah, I'm gonna shoot left first. You can even use your wings to slow your fall. I think you'll be okay just by using normal fall speeds. I think you'll shoot fast enough and take care of enough corruption. to be okay. We're gonna we're gonna need to buy more solution though. That is for sure. Now I want to dig to the left. I think a little bit to ensure I've gotten it all. I don't hear the music anymore, which is strangely okay. Go ahead and throw a bunch of glow sticks, get rid of them. Let me just dig over here, or just gonna make sure there's no more corruption. Get myself an air pocket. And you can see again, like right here, here's another good visual representation. There's dirt and then mud. It was pushing to the left. It, it, it just pushes, like it takes over. That's, that's what it does. Depending on what you want to do with your world, it is your job to stop it, or it is your job to not care. <laughs> Let's go down yonder, make sure nothing else got this far. So I can't really see. Now, it looks like the mud stopped most of it. The mud definitely slows it down, because it's a slow process to take over the mud, I believe. But that looks really freaking cool in the mini-map. Could you imagine going down through your world doing, like, core samples like that? Everywhere, and having, having your entire map be explored versus black areas. Like, you could see all of the tunnels. That's so cool. There's another idea, th purpose, uh, thing you could do you do with a Clem Taminator. Use it to find caves, because they show up on your mini-map because you lit it up. That's cool. We only have 11 things of solution left, and there's still all this. We are very likely going to need to go home and make some cash, because we can't let it spread. We can't let it keep going, because it'll take over all the work I did. That'd be entirely pointless. What I'll probably do is farm the Destroyer for a few kills, make absolute bank off of them, and then we'll rinse and repeat. But... So far, so good. This was a very successful trip over here. I didn't think I'd be handling it that quickly. Clem Taminator, too strong, man. Clem Taminator works. Get out of here. Let's light this shit up so we can see. And here we are, more corruption. I think what I'll do is shoot left first with my with what I have. Okay, I should be good down below. Uh, I think we got all of it, and <laughs> again, you lit up some of this. That's just Demonite. That might be a little bit of purple there. Let me zoom in on the map. It was like down here. Might not even have been corruption, I don't know, but taking care of it. There, we're out of solution. So, this is all going to start spreading again. We need to take care of it. There's just a little bit left. That is so good. Progress. How much cash do we have? Let's check. We talked to her. I... Should see my bank. 78 gold. I can buy some more. I can buy that. That ought to take care of it. And then some. Let's head back over. I should be able to finish this. I might be, yeah, I think I'm going to be able to finish this this episode. That's good. Uh, let's equip the balloons again. So the balloons, I mean, they've got their purpose. But I'm honestly thinking of getting rid of the regen band. I don't know. It'd be nice to have them both. I need to figure out my end game accessory goal. Like what I do and do not want. Because accessories have completely changed in 1.3. I mean, I never had an Onk or Onk Shield. I, <laughs> I never had a Shield of Cthulhu before, and I never had a Worm Scarf. So taking up those two accessory slots. So I always had something different there, replacing them. Giving them stars. Also, I'm going to start collecting strange plants a little more intently now. Now that I know Phase Die exists. Phase Die is so pretty. I wonder if I can craft it. I wonder if it's something you can only get from, you know, finding strange plants. Oh, that's something I ought to look up, too. So many things to learn. You will never know everything there is to know about Terraria. Nobody will. <laughs> There's too much. Also, also, get away from you. And time, time to let Mega Shark maybe, maybe do a little bit of work here. Kill the turtle. Kill this stupid bat thing. You just want to, like, walk over in here and die? Yeah. I want to kill the turtle because I want the shell. Gastropod, you're, you're, you're dumb. Get out of here. Alright, let me go take care of the corruption. We had our fun. Hold on. No? We can get a medicated bandage. Armor pan based on chop it, but the angler does. I had to kill the angler. Toad's worth it. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of that little itty bit of corruption. And I will be a happy camper. I'm not a happy camper when an angler hits me. Or a man eater, or whatever these damn things are called. Trapper. I'm gonna think of the name for some reason. Don't let a trapper hit you. That's, that's not a pleasant experience. 
Trappers do damage. Okay, we are here. We have arrived. I remember this place. Wasn't this my first meteorite thing? Ooh, gold. Oh, look at that. Well, I just spent a bunch of cash. I am okay with this. Ten gold back. Sweet. I think this was where my first meteorite was, if I remember correctly. Get that shield back on. And let's see here. And I got the shield on, so I'm not even going to take the damage. Let's light it up first. And I want to work from the left over, so I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off on doing this now. Let me do the left, because that's where we have cleared. And push right. We need to start all the way over in this one. And we need to shoot to the right. So this will take care of some of the stuff on the right in the other chasm, too. I just want to make sure we hit up all of it. According to the minimap, we are pretty solid. We're pretty solid. Just do one more once over because we've got the stuff. I think we're good. He thinks we're good. I love the map, though. It's so cool. I've said it a hundred times. It's <laughs> it's such a weird thing to see the minimap like, discovered like that. I almost wish there was an item you could get that would do that for you. Like, just like a little radius around you, you would kind of see things. Okay. You ought to be golden here as well. Doing a little bit of overkill because I, I mean, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right the first time. We have to go take care of that corruption over there too. I have to dig. In fact, I think I'll do that now. It's a little bit separate. I want to see how far it's spread. I think we're going to completely take care of the corruption in this episode, which really makes me happy because if, if this isn't going to kill my jungle, then it's going to free up a whole lot of time for me to go do other projects. Then I can check back on this at a later date just to verify that it's, you know, everything's good. Okay, we need to kill you. And see how it's starting to take over the grass here? That's how it starts, and then it hits those blocks. Hasn't hit these blocks yet, which is fantastic. Does not appear to have gone into any of those rocks. Got that last piece right there. I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, as much as I want to be killing the hornets and stuff, getting life fruit and things like that, we got we got work to do. That, that should all be good. Go go get him. Go get him, spider. Ah, see, I can turn you purple too, bro. All this corruption. I'll help you out, spider. You, you've done me well. I won't leave you hanging. Let's take care of all that. Make sure we don't miss any. We're going to be thorough. Super freaking thorough. It, that was it, wasn't it? Let's dig over here. So there's a little bit of grass. I think that's it. I mean, if you miss one block, that's all it takes. One block, and you're screwed. Need torches. I've been wasting so many torches this episode. Holy Jesus. Okay, I want to kill a hornet. Sure, works for me. Is there any over here that we're missing? Life crystal detected. I don't need life crystals, game. We've been over this. This all appears to be good. I'm just going to do a tunnel over to the jungle just to check. I don't see anything else. I feel like we're okay. I'm going to do something silly and just shoot down there to reveal. Make sure nothing's spread. I, I think we got it. I think we got it. I mean, we'll, we'll know if we start seeing... This is actually... Really good as well because if you start seeing little purple splotches, then you then you know like it, it'll become more apparent. Like maybe it'll look like a demon altar like this, but in the rocks, then you know it started to spread, and then you can go hit the source and keep doing that until you don't see anything anymore. But I mean, as far as I can see, obviously I might have missed something. But as far as I can see, we're good. Makes me happy. There's still this corruption, and it could very well push to the right and take and kill the stuff. It, it probably has because it doesn't have a jungle guarding it. I could go investigate it real fast just to see. But the, the immediate jungle has been taken care of. What we could do to completely prevent this is we could turn this into hollow. If I wanted to, I could hollow, the, hollow this. And then it would not take over my jungle. And it would also stop the corruption because corruption can't take over hollow and vice versa. So Lester the two evils kind of thing. Do you want to do that? It's up to you. <laughs> Let me just go investigate this corruption. Also, did it just get darker here? I'm gonna get darker there. Usually if that happens, well then... Maybe you have a problem. 
but I mean, there's no way there's anything there. No, maybe it was just my imagination. <laughs> I hope it was just my imagination. I I don't think regular mummies drop anything. They dropped a mask, but I don't really care. Anything down there? No, I'm looking at the mini map actually when I did that, just to see. Anything show up at all? Nay. So this is going to be, it's going to be a corrupted um, desert biome over here. Not overly worried. It's pretty easy to take care of if you want to. But I I just want to see how far it's gotten in the chasms. How far it's pushed, because the corruption can come up under and corrupt all this. Like it's kind of doing now, it looks like. Uh, that actually didn't become corrupt. Oops. Huh. <laughs> Might have a few corruption removal episodes coming up here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go ham at this one. I don't know if I'm overly worried about it. It's not bad to have a corrupt desert, because you need to farm corrupt mummies for some resources later. I don't know if they, I don't know if light mummies still drop the same thing, the same blindfolds. That I'm not sure of. There's another meteor, but this is a it's, a it's a good thing to do to fight it back at the very least. Is just do exactly what I'm doing. Finally, the anchor came back. Man, he was gone for a while. So a corrupt, <laughs> corrupt ocean biome looks really weird. And I'm burning through the the solution here, literally just pissing cash away. That is sad. I'm fully aware of what I'm doing. I'm also fully aware that's dark as shit. <laughs> I apologize. So, well, I mean, this is going to push it back. This isn't going to stop it. I'd have to hit it at the source. But that'll help. Let's head home. <laughs> Let's look at the mini-map, too. Because now we can see. Now we can see all this land. I like it. So, we could go finish this up. I mean, for some reason, it doesn't look like it's pushed too far. Maybe it's because it's not been loaded. I don't know. I think it still would have loaded. Uh, we, we can check. If it if it corrupted everything, I'm not even going to worry about it. Because this whole left side of the map's corrupt. It's going to be too far gone. As long as I've taken care of the jungle immediately, I'm happy enough. And I'm thinking there's going to be some building episodes coming up here. And also maybe making my farm for my crimson storage. I didn't use any of the bombs I thought I'd be using. <laughs> I will have to put them away before I accidentally all my limbs. Just like this dude. Let's, uh... Let's actually do that. Bomb, 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 go away. I don't need you. No, get off my no, get off my mouse cursor. It's a trap. <laughs> oh god. Okay, we're good. Let's turn in our die, and I think it's gonna be time to wrap it up, guys. Purple ooze die. Purple ooze die actually looked pretty funny, if I remember. If this is the die I think it is. No no no, it's not. Twilight die is the die I'm thinking it is. I don't need this die. I already have it. Darn. There's a Twilight Dine that's really cool, too. Alright, guys, that's it. This is episode 90. We have taken care of all the corruption over here as far as I can tell. I'll monitor it just to make sure. Uh, if you notice a couple patches coming up, we'll hit them in the uh, at the roots where they start. And that should be good. I can put Hollow there and we'll completely take care of it. If, if I put Hollow there, it will no longer be an issue. Corruption can't touch it. it that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. Bye-bye, Desert. It's going to be all hollowed. This is going to be really weird. <laughs> Just a matter of time before this all, all spreads and get out of hand. But by then, I, I'd hope to be up in the sky and away from it all. All right, guys. Time to wrap the episode up here. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.